Hello students, in this video I am going to show you how to determine the frequency of a tuning fork using Melody string method. The main idea of this experiment is when a stretched string is set into vibrations, transverse harmonic waves propagate along its length. When the length of the string is fixed, reflected waves from the pulley propagate in opposite direction. The incident and reflected waves superimpose to produce transverse stationary waves in the string. The string will vibrate in such a way that the clamped points of the string are nodes and the points of plucking is the anti nodes. A string can be set into vibrations by means of an electrically maintained tuning fork, thereby producing stationary waves due to the reflection of waves at the pulley. The loops are formed from the end of the pulley where it touches the pulley to the position where it's fixed to the prong of the tuning fork. This experiment was first realized by German physicist Franz Melde in 1859. To perform this experiment in the longitudinal mode, because here the propagation of waves are parallel to the vibrations of the tuning fork, we need to excite the tuning fork electrically. An electromagnet is placed at the end of the tuning fork. When the power applies, the electromagnet starts to magnetize and demagnetize. This will generate vibrations in the tuning fork. To power this electromagnet, we have a battery with an eliminator and a connecting wires. A lightweight string is connected to the tuning fork and the other end is passed through a stand with a clamp and pulley. To find the mass per unit length of the string, an additional 10 meters of sample string and an analytical balance will be provided. At the end of the string, a lightweight pan is connected. The suitable weights can be selected from the weight box and slowly add to the pan. This will generate tension in the string. When the setup is ready, place a lot of 4 to 5 grams in the pan for creating tension in the string. Switch on the power supply and adjust the screw connected to the electroman to excite the tuning fork. The tuning fork starts to vibrate. Adjust the position of the pulley so that the string is set into resonant vibrations and well defined loops are obtained. We can adjust the string tension by changing the weight in the pan slowly and gradually. Add milligrams of weight so that nodes are reduced to points. Using two reference points, measure the length of, for example, two loops formed in the middle part of the string. If L is the distance in which two loops are formed, then the distance between two consecutive nodes are L divided by 2. We can find the tension in the string by adding the mass of the pan and mass in the pan then multiplied by the gravity. Repeat this experiment by changing the weight in the pan step by step. Using the formula n equal p divided by l into square root of t divided by m, we can find the frequency of vibrations. Here, p corresponds to number of loops, l corresponds to the length of the loop, t corresponds to the tension in the string and m corresponds to the linear mass density of the string. To find the frequency of vibrations in transverse mode, you need to rotate the tuning fork in plane by 90 degrees, so the propagation of waves become perpendicular to the vibrations of the tuning fork and then using the formula n equal p divided by 2l into square root of t divided by m we can find the frequency of vibrations here p corresponds to the number of loops l corresponds to the length of the loop t corresponds to the tension in the string and m corresponds to the linear mass density of the string remember in both cases the string should be in uniform and inextensible well-defined loops should be obtained by adjusting the tension with the milligram weights and the friction in the pulley should be the least. So, by measuring the loop length from the experiment, one can find the frequency of vibrations of a tuning fork.